Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review because Christmas has been really, really good to me. Or, actually my family has been really, really, really good to me. I obtained some bots that I had written off, I, that I never expected to have in my collection. And this set, the Skittle Squad, was one of them. This is a set I had written off, my oldest got it for me, I'm really happy he did. Ever since I saw the episode where they go to Cybertron to get that part for Optimus Prime, I've been wanting to have that Seeker mold, which at the time they weren't called Seekers, it wasn't called a Tetra Jet, but War for Cybertron did an awesome job at providing us with a mold that is fun yet difficult to transform because some part where you transform it, just, you know, there's stress and you want to be careful not to break it and everything, but it's a fantastic mold, It's a fanta they're fantastic figures, so we're going to take a look at them. And this is a review that I thought I would never make. I'm really happy to have uh, those figures. So welcome back to the channel and uh, let's take a look at those figures. Destroy all intruders with rain, acid rain. All right, look at them. They are looking amazing. Of course, Iron Storm looks a little bit like Thundercracker, which I don't have because I started collecting when Earthrise came out. And so I missed out on a lot of the figures earlier that I was able to obtain later. But this set, um, I actually, I had seen this set in store at Toys R Us uh, two years ago. But instead of getting this set, I got Astro Train and Soundwave uh, Siege Mold. And um, kind of always regretted it because these figures was something I was wanting since I was a kid. Like I said, since that episode, that mold had, has been something that I really wanted. What we now call the Tetrajet has always been something that I really wanted to own. So I'm really happy that the War for Cybertron line gave us something very interesting. Of course, you've all seen these uh, figures before. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at articulations. Let's pick Acid Storm here. You can remove the accessories, which uh, we've all seen this Null Array before. Everybody calls them Null Rays, but originally I think only Starscream had an actual Null Ray. They all had those guns, but he had, I don't know, the, a special ammo that could uh, be used to uh, nullify stuff. But now everything that you see on these figures is called a null ray. Great molding, um, could use some painting. But the figure itself, I like to display them with the wings really upwards. Uh, I think it gives, gives them more of a menacing look. Some people prefer to have it downwards like this. Also looks really good, but I like the... I don't know, towering look. Yeah. Articulation, head will rotate uh, 360 with a bit of time and manipulation. The arms, if not for the wings, would actually go perfect 360. You have the elbow. I, I actually don't really like the elbows on this mold because they never seem to, you can't never seem to have a, a perfectly straight arm because this is always pushed a little forward, I don't know, but uh, very good elbow bend. And the way that it hides when you transform it is also pretty practical. Uh, a full 360 at the waist when this is not uh, pegged in. So when you transform, you have to twist it, but it could technically go 360. You have a hip rotation like this, double rotation like this, and then goes backward up to here, could go further, upwards, really nice kick, if you wanna kick someone in the face. Uh, the leg will rotate, you have a very good knee bend. Uh, let me move this, yeah, more than 90, which is good. Uh, you have a bit of a toe tilt, uh, and well, you can move the heel and the toes because of the transformation and you have a slight let me grab this better let you have a slight forward and oh a lot of forward but a slight backward action so overall great articulations and i like to whoop let's add in his gun again i like to display them like this where there's one shooting both missiles and then two guys on each side uh shooting one I don't know why, that's always how I display my Seekers. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's a good look. And now for some size comparison with Earthrise Leader Megatron with an added accessory of this little 
Gun from Siege Soundwave to give him that more G1 look. Victim of Acid Rain Netflix Bumblebee with the origin uh, jetpack and the gun. I think it gives him more of a cartoon accurate look. Unofficial Herald of Unicron custom figure Raziel Kane from Inputs, Reviews and Customs. And Seeker Leader Siege Starscream. And now let's take a look at transformation. The first thing you want to do is remove these null rays and then you want to flip it like this and there you go completely transformed all three of them and they look amazing i love this mold i think it's a little challenging to transform so that's a little more fun but there's a lot of time where i'm thinking i'm applying maybe a little too much pressure uh, on this part here and i'm always afraid when i'm unpegging it from the back of the figure that it's going to break but it never happened so far so i'm quite happy with that one thing I think they should have done a little different on each figure is the paint job. Because you can see the same battle scuffs on every figure. I think it's something on the assembly line that they could have programmed a little better where each figure would have a different battle damage. Because that battle damage also is the same one on Starscream. But I'm going to assume that Thundercracker and Skywarp also had the same thing. Hopefully Redwing and Hotlink didn't. Overall it's a fantastic mold. I really like what they did. If you take a look here, you don't see any robot part because they're all hiding under here. Arms, legs are ex extremely visible. Even the chest and the back here, they could have, you know, I don't know, folded somewhere else. But if you think about it, this is a Cybertronian mode where they actually don't have to hide who they are. You know, they're not robots in disguise, they're in a time of war. So it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't hide all of their robot parts. I love the looks of those planes. I mean, they're not the exact representation of that one episode, but I think with the technology that we have today, they did a very, very good job. I don't know if any third party did a better job at giving Seekers a triangular alt mode where everything is, you know, a fine point here, fine tip here, here, maybe on the wings, uh, like they did in the show, which was the coolest thing we've had seen uh, since the original pilot where uh, Skywarp and Thundercracker have that same alt mode. So the only one who never had that mode was actually Starscream because of the animation error in uh, Fire in the Sky. Let's put in a picture on top so you can see the difference in the animation model and the actual figures. And now we're going to go with the French word of the day which is Cherchar which means Seekers which I think it's appropriate so you can add Cherchar to your repertoire which is also a French word. And now for some size comparison, here is Nova Storm with Siege Prowl, which is one of my favorite molds of the Siege line. I really like the look of that car. Earthrise Trailbreaker, which in my opinion is one of the most accurate molds we have from this line comparing it to the cartoons. And Fellow Charchar Skywarp, which I think is one of the better molds of the entire line. Let me retransform them and go for the final thoughts. In the end, having Nova Storm, Acid Storm and Iron Storm in my collection is a plus. I'm extremely happy that my son got them for me and I think they're one of the most original molds that we've had in the Siege line. This is a perfect throwback for the episode Divide and Conquer and I don't I think it's a great move on Asbro's part to have produced this set sold in one package because it gave us the opportunity to obtain something that we've wanted since our early childhood so kudos to hasbro that's a great marketing technique so guys thanks for watching i've really had some fun playing with these figure i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment it's always fun to read and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care